the most destructive weapons ever made. Guess what it is? The nuclear bombs, which causes damage and destruction on a massive scale and can kill millions. While the size of the bombs are certainly impressive to consider, the real value in this bomb lies in its detonation power or yield, which is measured in megatons of TNT. Welcome back to this channel guys and here's a list of the world's most powerful nuclear bombs based on explosive power or yield. At number 10 is the Mark 14 nuclear bomb which was an American thermonuclear weapon designed in the 1950s. It was an experimental design and was first tested in April 1954 during the Castle Union nuclear test and had a yield of 6.9 megatons. In terms of size, the MK-14 was approximately 328 times more powerful than the atomic bomb dropped over Nagasaki in 1945. The MK-14 bomb had a diameter of 5.1 feet and a length of 18.5 feet and weighed between 12,100 and 14,100 kilograms. At number 9 is the MK-16 nuclear bomb, also referred to as the MK-16, TX-16 or EC-16. It was a large American thermonuclear bomb based on the Ivy Mike hydrogen bomb and was the only deployed thermonuclear bomb which used a cryogenic liquid deuterium fusion fuel. The bomb was extraordinarily large weighing 19,050 kilograms with a length of 24.8 feet. Current estimates place the MK-16 series of bombs in the top 10 most powerful nuclear weapons ever developed to yield at about 7 megatons, which was approximately 333 times more powerful than the atomic bomb dropped over Nagasaki. The B-53, also known as MK-53, is the 8th most powerful nuclear weapon which yielded about 9 megatons. At this yield, a B-53 detonation was capable of destroying all structures within a 9 mile radius with severe burns possible as far as 20 miles. It was a bunker busker thermonuclear weapon developed by the United States military during the 1960s, designed in response to the deep underground bunkers constructed for Soviet leaders during the Cold War. This bomb weighed about 4,014 kilograms and has a length of about 12.6 feet. At number 7 is the MK-36 nuclear bomb, which was a heavy high-yield United States thermonuclear weapon first developed in the 1950s. The bomb had a far greater yield of 10 megatons. The massive MK-36 measured over 12.5 feet long, 5 feet in diameter and weighed about 8,028 kilograms. All Mark 36 nuclear bombs retired in 1961 and 1962 and were replaced by the higher yield B-41 nuclear bomb. The sixth strongest nuclear weapon in the world The Ivy Mike hydrogen bomb was a United States thermonuclear weapon first detonated in 1952. The bomb was incredibly massive with a total length of 20 feet long and a total weight of 82 tons. Following detonation, the Ivy Mike produced a total yield of 10.4 megatons, creating a mushroom cloud to rise to an altitude of 56,000 feet in less than 2 minutes. The bomb was approximately 472 times more powerful than the Fat Man detonated over Nagasaki in 1945. At number 5, we have MK-24, which was developed in the 1950s. The Mark 24 is the third largest nuclear bomb developed by the Americans, which was a massive thermonuclear weapon measuring 25 feet long and weighed over 19,050 kilograms. Although never officially tested by the government except for a prototype device, researchers believe that the bomb can yield about 10 to 15 megatons. At number 4 is the MK-17 nuclear bomb. This was the first mass-produced series of hydrogen bombs developed by the Americans in 1954. It was also the first deliverable thermonuclear weapon that could be dropped from a plane. It yielded 15 megatons upon detonation and it was well known for its size and weight measuring about 24.8 feet long and 19,050 kilograms in weight. 
The TX-21 nuclear bomb or the shrimp holds the record for the third most powerful nuclear weapons in the world. Tested in 1954, the bomb has a weight of about 10,659 kilograms and measuring 15 feet in length. The explosion yielded nearly 14.8 megatons, which is approximately 1,000 times more powerful than the atomic bombs used in Japan during the Second World War. The nuclear weapon formed a 4.5 mile wide fireball just within one second and the mushroom cloud reached a height of 47,000 feet in less than a minute. Although the TX-21 was not the largest nuclear bomb designed by the Americans, it remains the largest nuclear test carried out by them. At number 2 is the B-41 nuclear bomb, also known as the MK-41 and this was a three-stage thermonuclear weapon designed again by the United States during the 1960s. This was the most powerful bomb ever constructed by them with an estimated yield of about 25 megatons upon detonation. It has a length of about 12 feet and weight over 4,840 kilograms. In terms of power and destructive capabilities, the B-41's yield was approximately 1,136 times more powerful than the atomic bombs detonated in Japan during Second World War. At number 1 is none other than the Tsar Bomba. Except for this one, all powerful nuclear bombs were developed by the Americans, but this one being the most powerful of them all was detonated by the Soviet Union in 1961. This RDS-220 hydrogen bomb weighed about 27 metric tons and measured 26 feet long by 7 feet wide. It yielded about 50 megatons upon detonation, which is exactly twice the destructive power to that of B-41 nuclear bomb. Following its detonation, the Tsar Bomba could be seen over 620 miles away and created a 5-mile wide fireball along with 42-mile high mushroom cloud, which is 7 times the height of Mount Everest. So that was the top 10 most powerful nuclear bombs in history. Thank you guys for watching and if you've liked this video, don't forget to hit the notification bell for more videos like this. Thank you for watching.